Hold on, we're gonna pivot over and look at Lilu, who's also oh. rolling. Hold the phone! Did we <laughs> three just Draven. pass a three Draven <laughs> shop? What? It's time to kick off the Gizmos and Gadgets World Championship. You've got Lilu, who's looking pretty hot. Um, China's kind of been ahead of the meta a lot of the sets. Uh, picking up that R, you can see the big transition coming in from Lee Luo from China, a player who has also received the, a lot of compliments for his creativity. This Ari, I think, is just going to be able to clean up way too quickly. This is not going to be a good fight for Milk, and so now it's going to come down to the desperation, looking for that Sivir. Ari, you see just how fast she casts with that five mutant. Easy win here for Lee Luo. We're hopping on board with Lee Luo from China, a player who is just on that cuff, 16th place at 14 points, only one point separating him, and unfortunately dropping out for day number two, so he needs to put his best foot forward. Level seven, 40 gold, this is forcing a roll down. I think we're seeing a little bit of a roll down here, which is probably earlier than he wanted to do. You know, hitting the Sivir, trying to get maybe into that striker comp we see with like the Frozen Heart Echo, but you can see that hesitation. I really don't think he wanted to roll at this point. And unfortunately for Lilu, who didn't get the last whisper, running into the sixth bodyguard player is exactly what you didn't want, and that will take him down to an eighth place. That is the worst case scenario. All of these players will come back tomorrow, and we will see them one more time, and I am just so ready for that. Take a look at uh, VCLF from Brazil go up against Lilu, who hasn't hit yet. This is a great time to play Lilu, who has eight Trindamirs and seven Zacks, seven Warwicks. Nothing is finalized, and yet, look at the power of this Trindamir. He will not be denied. Is that set Ooh. for Trindamir? Look at his spinning slash. And that is Lilu not even in his final form, more. Oh, and there is the Lucian 3 starting from Lilu. And that will maybe mix it up a little bit, not with an Arcanist spat this time around like we've seen so many times, but it is doing a lot of the work. Can it do enough against Ooh. that Kai'Sa? And it can! Absolutely. Let's take a look at the first augment as we do have a silver Ooh. tier augment presented. Some pretty generic Ooh. ones. Oh, <laughs> what is this? Dominance at 1-4, an augment that is often memed. Is this the Giga Chad move or what? This is definitely a way to go out in game eight and just take this augment and literally, I mean, what's it called? Dominate with this thing. <laughs> like, this is amazing. Can anything take down this crazy dominance legendary board, which is still farming <laughs> items? All right, well, the Zephyr onto the Kai'Sa is going to make it difficult as she doesn't really get to the fight. Galio entrance is going to stall a bunch of units. Sivers now also under threat. Zeri's able to take it down. And that's another win. Lilo didn't even get a chance to play for the Zeri 3. Gonna end this game start to finish with full dominance. Lilo from China is going to be the winner of the last game here at day two of the Gizmos and Gadgets Championship. Big, big upgrade for Lilo as they go into what could be the final round for TXE. The Alistar is right onto the backline of TXE. This is probably not ideal. Gonna charge away, getting taken out here, trying to make the best of it. The Sivir is still going, but it's not oh. enough. The Choga is reigning supreme in our first lobby of the day for Lilu, who gets the win. Crossing that 18 point threshold now means that they just need one first, and then that's it. Lilu has found the eight bodyguards, has found oh no. the two star Galio, oh no. has found the Jinx. It's just such a beefy board coming from Lilu, and now our both Chinese representatives are gonna fight it off here. And you were talking about these players having to find a way to find comps that can cap out, that can win lobbies just in their pure strength, regardless of anything else. And I think both players have found it. An early Zeri 2 for one, a Galio 2, an 8 bodyguard comp for another. I haven't played the comp myself, but if Mortlock says this is the strongest comp in the game, I'm going to believe him. And now it just, you know, we're going to have to see what it looks like in this game. And if you're ever going to lose now that he's been able to assemble it. And there is nothing Goobums can do here to make the board stop. Well, the whoa, Jinx will Ari. come one more time. Yeah, the Ari is still alive. 
Actually, I might eat my words here. The Ari is just completely taking out the Galio and the Jinx. Lilu has another loss their way. Gonna see it in action this time around. On level 10, this board is so, so strong. Gonna play against his fellow Chinese representative and let's see what this Jinx can do. The Zeri's dancing around. One of the Chinese players will be eliminated in this fight here. It looks like it might be Liu Li because Bodyguards is just so, so strong when you hit that vertical 8. The Zeri on Liu Li's side still just uncontested damage. Liu Li gets eliminated. We make this might be over here. Will Zhu up against Li Luo. 8 Bodyguard. The Shroud comes in on the Galio. Stops his cast from coming in a little bit too early. Kai's going to do her best to try and skill and do enough damage with her Monsoon in what could be a long fight with 8 Bodyguards. But Zeri untouched in the back row, dealing damage, dishing it out to every single unit on Ujul's board. And Caitlyn is the inferior sniper when it comes to stage 6. Ujul is out of contention. And Lilo wins this fight. Dudu able Doo -doo to win. Wins. We're going to have a 1v1. And can tank another loss as we go into what could be maybe the final game of today. Metacomp versus the Exodia Comp, a bodyguard for Li Luo, China versus Korea, and what could be the final fight of the TFT World Championship. Zeri still dealing damage, still very healthy in the back line, well, on the sidelines there, rather. And it looks like Lilo might win this fight. I think the Jinx is too strong with the bodyguard emblem. That's going to be it. Dudu oh, gets taken out. Lilo is, is our it. TFT Gizmos and Gadgets World Champion with eight bodyguards to top it all off. The Exodia Comp that Mortdog warned us all about is the one to win it for China.